There is a group of men and women here in Western New York who really are special. They are military veterans, and at last count, there were more than 62,000 of them in Erie County alone. Most of them are doing just fine, but there are some who are not. There are numerous support groups now set up to help these people in the community, but if they really get into trouble, there's a place in Buffalo that will bend over backwards to help get them back on track. When Americans go to war, the effect of combat on the men and women who come home is with them for the rest of their lives. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Many can't sleep, can't eat. They suffer from depression, and some turn to a life of crime. I was in a pretty um, dark place. I was in active addiction, um, in and out of jail, back and forth, back and forth, and I was in a regular drug court. Manny Welch came home to Buffalo after the Vietnam War. He couldn't cope became addicted to drugs and alcohol, lost two families, his children, and couldn't keep a job. I didn't have any hope. Um, my life was like going down the tubes. I wasn't responsible. But I think there are some unique issues that veterans face, um, particularly uh, coming off uh, deployments and things of that nature that uh, the Veterans Court is able to, to handle and to help and to assist these individuals who have served our country. After multiple arrests, um, they put me in regular drug court, which was run, being run by Judge Russell. And the regular drug court, it wasn't working for me. Judge Robert Russell, a Buffalo City and County Court judge, saw what was happening and quickly realized that these patriots needed special help. So he created the nation's very first veterans treatment court. It's not a uh, get out of jail free card. It's an extremely rigorous program. Uh, part of the qualification is to have to have an underlying clinical diagnosis of a mental health disease or disorder, uh, clinical diagnosis, uh, potentially uh, uh, being dependent on substances. Uh, some might have a traumatic brain injury. Veterans Court began in Buffalo in 2008. The idea caught on. There are now more than 300 of them all over the U.S. and in Canada. For Manny Welch, it was a second chance. When I was standing there in handcuffs and judge welcomed me to that court and everybody in the courtroom like stood up and said, let's give uh, this veteran a, a salute. Veterans Court has an 85 to 90 percent success rate in turning lives around, 400 to date. So what's the secret? We have a number of men and women who volunteer as volunteer veteran mentors. They are men and women who also serve and their model in this court is to leave no veteran behind. You have unique individuals that have military experience. Uh, the judge is extremely experienced and knowledgeable, and, um, and, and uh, we do everything we can to help people when they need help. Typically, they're going to be with the court probably in the average around 18 months, 16 to 18 months. They must faithfully go to the counseling and treatment program, commit themselves to remaining clean and sober, and demonstrate that they have stability in their life now and that they can manage their disease or disorder. Judge Russell made you feel, he was somebody that made you feel, he, he, he cared. And then to see them 16, 18 months later, standing before you proud, uh, got a substantial piece of uh, restoration back in their life. Talk about their, that they're working or Judge, I'm in college now and I'm graduating from college or I'm doing this or that. That makes it worthwhile. What happened to Manny Welch? He became the very first graduate of Veterans Treatment Court, living proof of a life turned around. He works at Buffalo's VA hospital, and now he's become the mentor. My purpose in life is just to be there for the sick and suffering um, people that are struggling with addiction and to be there with my, for my fellow veteran brothers. You know, that's my purpose today, just to keep an open door to allow myself to help anyone that needs help that wants to reach out for it. We'd like to thank the VA and Judge Russell's court for helping us out with that story. Still ahead tonight on 